Hello, and welcome back to Distant Worlds 2. And we're taking play through here and trying to expand while recovering our economy. It's a bit of a tricky, uh, tricky thing to do. But um we're gonna try. If you look at our nemesis here, we are almost even on population now. We have 133 colonies, they have 65. So we're gonna work on building up our our youngest colonies. If we look at our most populous planets, we can see there's, you know, not exactly a direct relationship between population and money, but um, definitely value coming out of these. I'm hoping as time goes on and our approval gets higher, some of these will turn positive and have to press as much of a we look at revenues we could see the planet is still far and wide the best partially because of a massive amount of development partially because of a lot of happiness due to unique buildings that are on this particular planet and i imagine that's only going to get better over time the rest of the stuff i don't think offers anything special far as uh, money or revenue. Now, one thing that was brought up was that a lot of these big planets, I got them by bombarding and I have gone back to use terraforming to improve them to like recover from the damage that it did. And there is definitely some truth to that. Um, however, m most of the high revenue generating planets are not max terraforming, but they don't have any damage on them. So I definitely want to go back and do terraforming, but it's so expensive. What upwards of, yeah, it costs 150,000 credits just to build the building. And then another 10,000 credits in maintenance cost. So lots of, lots of cash outflow to make that happen. That's for a single planet. All right, we want ships that are not in a fleet. Looks like that's nobody. Put this by name. No, I do not want a defensive pack. That's not something I'm interested in. Little skirmisher fleets are annoying. Our spies should be done relatively soon. Come on, let's destroy this guy. We are significantly more powerful. At least our ships are. There we go. Hyperdrive offline. Ghost. There it is. Looks like we got some engagement in multiple spots in this system. Oh, we both have mining stations. Well, hopefully we can take this fleet out. DF03, you are really close. Why don't you just hop over here and try to take these guys out? Or they destroy your mining station. Maybe. If we're lucky we'll get out in time. I don't know if we'll manage to save this or not. We at least made him jump away. Alright, we got another new colony churned out. Oh, that's deep in the heart of their territory. We are really uh, pushing our luck over there. That's fine. All right, we did make a new defense fleet and we have it moving over here. The goal was to come over here and clean out that black hole so we could build another resort base. That is a nice high percentage. All right, we got a pretty solid defense fleet over there. I think we're just continuing to mop up as many of these as we can get away with. Are we gonna do anything before he jumps away? Uh, apparently, yeah. Sweet. We did not get a chance to jump away because we damaged his jump drive. This guy's been jumping for a while. He's going to get away. Yep. They're probably going to destroy this. Yep. Goes. Take a look at mining base locations. Looks like we have several queued up. Though we're not actually building anything right now. 
All right, well, I'm ready to continue pushing our luck, so let's go over here. Try to at least engage with it's over here. Leave DF04 to run where it wants to go. Because that's the one that we're building on the opposite side of the galaxy. All right, we got another new colony founded. Try to top off our invasion fleets, make sure that we're good on those. A little surprised to see so few troops on uh, some of these. All right, another new colony got churned out. Let's go ahead and take care of that one. Now, we have several colonies still left to colonize. There's two up. Oh, here we go. Our agents are starting to finish. So far, nothing good. All right, so we have six planets left to go, it looks like. All right, evaded. Successful. That's attack fighters, though. Captured, captured, captured. A couple more chances here. Oh, some of our ships are getting destroyed here. It's a decent strength base. Hopefully we take it out relatively soon because it's doing some damage. Oh, advanced cruisers. We did steal it. Very nice. Another new scientist has joined. We lost Sunja. All right, that was the advanced cruisers stolen. All right, so that's all of them. Go talk to the crew warriors. That was who we were stealing from. All right, let's start with giving them some system information. That's essentially free. All right, we're just going to go whole hog towards... Uh, the shield tech. All right, hopefully we are clearing out this other defense battery as well as several of their fleets. Uh, it looks like they hopped away. Unfortunate. I was hoping to get that kill that would have taken out a lot of troops. All right, we are clearing out some ships from the... Uh... All right, that, this guy should be toast pretty soon. Hopefully we'll just rock right to the next one. All right, here's where I hurt my popularity a little bit. Start bombarding this planet. All right, another new colony established. Let's hop over there and take a quick gander. All right, we got a lot of bombardment to do to get this planet knocked down to the point where we can invade. But that's fine. We got time on that. All right, DFO4 is not fully stocked by any stretch of the imagination but it's starting to get there using pretty much all our money to do that but that's fine we really do need some something over there what the heck are you guys doing you're not even at this planet yet all right we got a little research breakthrough synchronized vectors hopefully that'll go pretty well for us we are still bombarding this planet. What's interesting is I'm not really losing a lot of reputation. I mean, I'm losing a little. It's not too bad yet. All right, at this point, I have multiple fleets bombarding this planet. Hopefully, relatively soon, we'll get a uh, breakthrough and be able to rapidly bombard and finish them off. Oh, we got a pirate raid on one of our colonies. They stole a whopping 100 credits. Another new scientist appeared. Keep popping into the negative. But it comes back quick. About to finish human diplomacy. All right, got some new cruisers churning out on the map. Xenax Ascendancy conquered a planet. That's surprising. Wonder if they took something back. All right, the rapid fire hasn't started yet, but... I imagine it's going to get here relatively soon with most of the troops being dead at this point. All right, some of the buildings are starting to fall. Hopefully that will translate to faster destruction of the shield like it is. Stop bombarding this planet. Go ahead and attack with both of the fleets. Should be relatively painless. See, my reputation did go up. Well, I should say down by quite a bit, but that is okay. 
could be another relatively easy victory. Then we can move on to the next colony in the system. All right, we'll offer a restricted trade agreement with the Kantaris Horde. Try to make things a little more pleasant with two of us. Oh, they rejected it. Okay, well, I tried. All right, let's move on to the next colony in the system. Looks like we're already hopping over here to take out what I assume is the... Um... All right, so I paused for a little bit there and reworked my fleets. Uh, well, not the fleets, but the ships. Kind of redesigned them, made sure that they were meeting what I wanted them to, put the right type of weapons, added some engines on them overall. Hopefully they're going to be a little better ship, although we have a lot of building up to do. I'm hoping. Hey, look at that. We stole self-reinforcing shields. That was a 16% chance. So we did lose a lot, but I still feel like we had a lot of people captured, but I still feel like it was worth it given that we were able to do that. All right. So this is our new large spaceport. I think this is the right thing take a look at the design of it the spaceport i didn't do much with uh no that isn't but that's fine for now i do ultimately want this to be uh lsp9 what's going to happen next i the good thing about the redesign is it should cause a bunch of civilian ships to be retrofit and that will generate a lot of revenue from the private sector, which I can then use that money to get my spies back, which would be pretty awesome. So we'll let that do its thing. Um, private sector should be getting... I mean, it's got plenty of money. I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, but I do need my spies back. Let's go ahead and talk to... Was it the Cruel Warriors were we stealing from? I can't remember. Yes, must have been... Let's buy all of our people back. Oh, we lost a spy. Missed. All right, so go to 400, and then we start going up by smaller amounts, 425. Uh, we will do that. That's going to put us in the hole, but it does get us all our spies back, which is fine. We'll have to wait a little bit for this to play catch up. I don't want to send any other spies out right now. All right, our reputation is still fairly low, but hopefully coming back relatively soon. These fleets are going to end up retrofitting at some point in the future. Um, what's going on over here? It looks like they got some ships in our presence. But we completely nuked them out of orbit, so that should take care of that no problem. We do have 11,000 troops on this, so that should be enough to start taking some other systems. This is a single planet system. We should take it and that will chop them in half. Uh, I'll leave this system for now. But I do think it's probably worth continuing to press our luck. Let's pop over here with all of our attack fleets. They certainly have a lot of stuff over here. So we're going to pop in and cause some grief. Then we'll eventually move this fleet in, but we're going to wait for everybody else to get there first. So that's 120,000 fleet that they have there. So that's a pretty substantial amount. Definitely nothing to scoff at. All right. Do we have this fleet up here now? We do. I think it's probably worth moving over here. Clearing out this black hole. We can build that resort base over there. I would like to take a quick gander at one of the things I noticed when I was working through the ships. Uh, there was no like construction ships. Didn't have a lot of. So yeah, it says 27, but I definitely did not have that many. Huh. These are not retrofitting to the same design that I made, which is this struct one. Well, maybe it needs to retrofit, and then after that it'll be fine. I have no idea. 
Uh, oops, I accidentally clicked the button. All right, we recovered somebody's admiral, which is fine. I'm hoping we're getting into that system now, it looks like, for the most part. We're double their power. Although many of our ships are wounded. I'm hoping this should be a pretty straightforward beating. 44,000 strength, that's pretty strong. Terminator auto cannon battery, I'd like to get that. All right, we are engaging over here. Certainly got destroyed over here quite a bit. There goes one of our ships. Hopefully we start making our way over here. Gonna involve attacking those things. We might jump to the other side of the system. Immediately hop over there. I kind of hope as just one ship at a time going through here is going to be kind of a pain. Hopefully our looks like our fleets are flying around. All these little ships hopefully start doing some significant damage to these defense bases. All right, theoretically, they're getting hammered pretty pretty hard now. Yep, that's whittling them down for sure. That's before any big ships get over there. All right, there we go. That's really starting to put the pressure on now. Goodbye. And hopefully they'll pivot right over here and just take this one out next. It does look like that's the case. Scara conformity, conformity is starting to take over some planets, which is good because the more they do, the better off uh, they are. We are going to probably start bombarding this planet right away. It does have a shield. I feel like that's pretty common. All right, let's get this guy over here. So that this fleet can be ready to invade. Hopefully, as soon as this drops, we'll be good to go. I don't know if we're just getting some lucky shots off, but I do feel like that is uh, dropping at a relatively decent pace. Maybe not. Right, there's less civilian ships under construction now, but still some of them. Look at the wait time on some of these. Looks like most of them are building spaceports that are taking a long time, which is fine. I feel like they're starting to push back a decent amount. The Zerians are getting pretty beat up. I think the strongest one, um, the Gazurian. No, no, the Gazurians are fine. They're the strongest. They have definitely more real estate than most other people. Hey, we got another new spy. Very nice. Right, we have not destroyed field yet. Although we should be getting pretty close. Yeah, some of our ships are pretty pretty banged up. Well, not as close as I would like. Right, I think we're flying around the system and kind of cleaning up a little bit. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to rebuild some stuff. It's always the hope. We're trying to whittle down barely any damage to that shield. The sooner that shield drops, the better off we're going to be. All right, at least these ships are in orbit now. Should make for a good invasion once we get that far. Let's hop over to this fleet, which I think should be heading to the black hole. Oh, I screwed up and clicked over here with that. That is not what I intended to do. Let's send them back on their way. Alright, some of these buildings are pretty beat up. As soon as they start dropping, we know we see the uh, shields drop and then everything kind of falls into place. Our reputation overall isn't too terrible. It's not great, but it's not the worst we've ever had. Got some pretty good techs coming up relatively soon. All right, we're going to top up some of our fleets while we're here. All right, hopefully sooner than later we get over there and actually destroy some of these buildings. There goes the last troop. I imagine our ships are going to start roasting these guys. Oh yeah, drop like a rock. Alright, more progress. Invasion fleet going towards a resort. I'm not that worried about that. 
Another building about to drop. The Zerians took out a Kantaris Horde. There we go. There goes that. Alright, we need to immediately stop bombarding. All right, we're going to put these guys back on automatic for a little while so that they recover, go repair, retrofit, whatever they need to do. Kind of a crappy defense fleet in the sense that they're not defending at all. I use them for offense all the time. All right, invasion should begin any moment now. There it is. Should be another steamroll. All right, colony is conquered. Let's go ahead and build the facility that we need. Load up the troops and then put these guys back on automatic. Somebody is running around loading up more troops in the background, which is great. Be nice to have another fleet available. All right, got some retrofit action going on. Going to an actual spaceport, which is nice. You guys are attacking some mining stations. Okay, we've officially cut through their empire. They have a couple isolated colonies there. I'm hoping to push down to these three or four next. And just kind of keep taking my lead. Then if we get lucky, swing around here, take these first. This is their capital. That would be a really nice win. And then we can come over here and scoop up these ones last. Along with this one that's kind of in isolation over here. And these couple that are hiding around here. And then we can start pushing and taking the Biscarans, Which are a little trickier. Because like that fleet is as strong as my entire... Or like a, an, a sixth of my military. So I imagine they have even more. So by the time I swing around to go attack them. I'm going to need to be way more powerful than I currently am. Uh, Reputation's been hovering around negative 50, 55. I think our reputation increase has been going almost at the same rate we've been losing it. So we've been relatively stable over the past little while. I would ultimately like to get better, but this is where we're at right now. Um, All right, 63 colonies. I want all 63 of those. That would put me at like 200. Uh, these guys are, yeah, that's just scary to look at, but hopefully eventually we'll be able to do something about it. Look at the victory screen, see where we're at. So the Gazurians are kind of running away with it. They're at 60%. I'm slowly working my way up, but not as fast as I would like to. I almost feel like I need to go, I'll ultimately need to go after the Gazurians directly. Which, oh, that's a scary proposition. Because these fleets, look at these fleets. They're just ridiculous. They're way more powerful than me. I don't even know how I'm going to take that on. Somebody's got to put pressure on them, though. The only problem is as I go along attacking and destroying the other smaller empires, that's less to resist Gives the Gazurians more at, uh, ammo to go take these other planets and colonies and stuff. Rampant war weirdness. That's not good. Maybe they'll have a rebellion and uh, things will split off. That would be awesome. That would definitely put a little damper on their their plans. All right, how are we doing over here? I think we stopped like partway over there. All right, I think killing these actually gives me a little bit of reputation. Creatures destroyed. Yep. Moves that needle in the right direction. All right, here goes the last of these Gravelex. Hey, we got an Admiral by killing a creature. Very nice. All right, take this guy out, and then we can go ahead and build the resort base over here. All right, base is queued up. Go ahead and set this fleet back to... Automagic defend. All right, 143 systems. Pretty solid. Growth is definitely heading in the right direction. We are officially bigger than this enemy empire. Their strength is 3.1 mil. And I'm still at 712,000. I'm still uh, slowly destroying them, which is awesome. I do need to get my economy sorted out. There's no reason I should be this this 
strapped for cash. Our colony taxes are really bad. Private economy is doing great, though. All right, let's look at the military screen here, the maintenance. Decent amount of maintenance, not too crazy. The private sector maintenance went up, but I also retrofit all the ships. So that makes I'm thinking our fleets are starting to retrofit a little bit. They should get more powerful as they retrofit because the upgraded designs should add a decent amount of power to them. Everybody's loading troops, which is awesome. I'm going to need a lot of that to continue my press forward. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more content in the future. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.